special feature at our 9 a.m. service is a time of meditation, centering ourselves, deepening ourselves to this moment as we continue in worship. I invite you to receive a deep breath and to release that breath. I invite us to be fully present to this moment. Today at 11.33 a.m. Eastern time is spring. And so our reflection for today is entitled In the Garden. This reflection today is by our writer and theologian in residence, Reverend Dr. Robin Holly Gorsline. He's on sabbatical during this time and we're praying for him and for that time to be fruitful. And we're so grateful for the many writings that we can enjoy while he's on sabbatical. In the garden. Gardening requires a generosity of spirit, a willingness to invest in unlikely specimens, seeing potential where others see failure, taking a chance on a gangly fruitless tree when the sure bet says, cut it down. To be a gardener is to know God, at least the God who patiently nurtures without being certain of the outcome, but does not back away from the challenge. God's like that with us over and over and over again, taking chance after chance on us, playing against the cynic's house, not listening to the naysayers and gossips, prattling on about sin and lost causes. She must have sinned a lot to be so sick. Hurricanes are because men marry men. Muslims are mostly terrorists. Tossing judgments around like rice on the brides and grooms leaving church. When we brood over or proclaim divine judgment, it is good to remember God's mercy. Sinners are always in the hands of a loving God. Despite Jonathan Edwards and those who feel the need to tell God to punish the others who break rules, they tell God needs to make for our own good. But God does not love us because we are good. She loves us because God is good. The master gardener who knows when our roots are dried out, our leaves shriveled and limbs drooping, even before we do, providing spiritual fertilizer and living water. Spigots are everywhere, always in the on position. Just pray and drink deeply the flow that never ends. Amen, and so it is. Amen.